What's up guys? First off, I'd like to say sorry for the delay with all the videos. I was super caught up in traveling every weekend and doing homework and stuff, so now I'm back on a schedule, so I'm trying to post every other day and it's working out so far. The point of this video is I wanted to tell you guys about this summer camp. It's called Kiss the Sky Pole Vault Camp. It's in Payson, Arizona. It's from, what dates? 25th through 29th. June 25th through the 29th. So that's a Sunday through Thursday. You get there Sunday like noon and then leave Thursday at like noon too. But basically it's just a camp for pole vaulters and it has a bunch of world-class pole vault coaches, college coaches, high school coaches. Everybody that loves pole vault is there. So if you guys wanna come and get better, this, this is the place to go. But I've been going since my sophomore summer, I think, and I've been there every summer since. So it's it's a blast. It's seriously the funnest week of my summer. And I look forward to it like throughout the year because it's just that fun. There's like cliff diving, you, you have like a mini competition at the end of the week, but it's just fun because you're surrounded by a bunch of people that love pole vault just as much as you do, or at least I do. But I want to tell you guys because it's the deadline's May 26th, so if you guys are thinking about it... Hey guys, what's up? Um, just one thing real fast, it's way later in the day. We filmed this at like 4 o'clock and it's like 9 o'clock right now. But I'm just going to show you guys a little sneak peek of the camp videos because I don't want to put the whole thing in there. So both of the camp videos that I really like are down in the description below. Make sure you watch those. And sorry that this episode might be a little bit boring, but I want to interact with you guys a little bit more, so questions and answers are the only way to kind of do that. So, hope you guys enjoy. Before we watch the rest of the video, hit that thumbs up button and you're on your way. What's up guys? Welcome to the Q&A section of this episode. Maddie's going to be asking me questions from you guys to get insight on my life or just random questions that you guys had. So let's get it started. Okay, first question is would you correct form if your viewers sent you videos? Um, no, I would not. I'm not really like that type of athlete. I mean, I could tell you guys like certain things, but I would suggest Sean Francis's channel to go and watch him because he like he takes a bunch of videos from all of his subscribers, and I think he charges a little bit, but it's like it's excellent feedback. I've talked to him a bunch over like email and stuff and he's just like he's super smart and he's been in the sport for like a long long time so I'd suggest going to him and because I don't really know too too much I mean I do but I don't really have time mm -hmm. so uh, speaking of time what do you like to do in your free time when you're not in track in my free time I like to make videos that's basically what it, what I do but also just hang out with my family and my girlfriend um, because they're just like a huge part of my life. I live at home still so I'm surrounded by my family like all the time so I just hang out with them a lot and it's really fun. Okay. 
Okay, so um, is being on a college track team fun or is it just a bunch of work? It is extremely fun, but I would say that it's a bunch of work because if you want to improve, you got to work hard. And if you don't have like a good work ethic to begin with, then you're not going to make it. You're not going to make it into like a college program, basically. So work hard, everyone. Okay. Um, when did you start vaulting? I started vaulting my freshman year, like halfway through the season, because some of my brother's friends were doing it and they just told me that I should try it. And I did. Okay. Um, what is your PR? My PR is 16 feet or like 490 in metric and it's like 16 feet and like a th three quarters of an inch or whatever. So that's my PR. What does PR mean? PR means personal record or some people say PB which is personal best. It doesn't really matter. It's just like like your best, I would say all time. And then some people say like season best or like lifetime best. It's just like, it's a shortened version of personal record. Okay. Um, have you gotten paid from YouTube yet? I have not. Um, I'm planning on setting that type of stuff up if I start doing a little bit better. But one of my goals, some of you guys asked about my goals. One of my goals is to have like a thousand subscribers by the time summer ends. So I'm shooting for that. And if I get kind of close to that, then hopefully I'll get more exposure and be able to make like 10 bucks a month or something. I don't know. But it probably wouldn't be a lot of money. Okay, uh, can you talk about your track career? Okay, so I started my freshman year halfway through the season and jumped 10 feet. Didn't make it to like state or anything. And then my sophomore year, I jumped 12 feet. And then I realized that I was like decent at it. So I started pursuing it in the off season. So then I started working with my club coach, Matt, which is my coach now. But I started working with him right after I came back from the pole vault camp that I just told you guys about. And I jumped 12 feet then, and then continued to work with Matt through my junior year. I jumped 14 feet my junior year, and then I only jumped 15, six my senior year, because I broke my wrist. And I would have jumped 16. Two feet every year, run my life. <sighs> okay, can you now talk about, what's your, what is your um, lifting schedule? Okay, my lifting schedule is we work out Tuesdays, Thursdays and Fridays in the off season. So three days a week in the off season and that's, it's usually like harder workouts in the off season because we don't have anything to like technically train towards, I guess. So it's just constant work, um, hard work in the weight room and then hard work in like sprint workouts and like longer workouts to get like your cardio back up after a long summer if you're not working as hard as you should be. But so, three days a week in the off season and then we only do two days a week in season and that's usually just Tuesdays and Thursdays because we travel on Fridays or sometimes we even travel on Thursdays and don't come back till Sunday so two days a week in season three days a week out of season okay what about during the summer what what are you doing what do you do in the summer so for the summer basically our coaches give us like a summer workout guide of what we should be doing and that's I think it's like six weeks out of like the first scheduled practice so that we're not like we don't just get destroyed when we come back so that we're actually kind of in shape but I'm planning on continuing to lift to try to get stronger um, and obviously like more powerful and faster I guess and then I'll continue to do like speed work and running but a little bit lower intensity because we're in the off season and we shouldn't really be like killing our bodies because it is like very straining on your body and you don't want to like plateau I guess during the season. All right um final three questions one do you know Mr. Lobo? Mr. Lobo yes he's a very good friend of mine um do you guys know Mr. Lobo? I don't know. Comment down below if you know Mr. Lobo. Yeah do it. And uh two how do you become as great as Sam Trigg? Sam Trigg, let me tell you, we probably get stopped about 20 times every time we go out because everybody wants to take a picture with Sam Trigg. I don't get it. He's just a guy from uh, England and, you know, you can't get enough of this guy. He's just great. I don't know if anybody will be as good as him or replace him in my heart. All right, final question. How do you become as dank 
as Ryan Chase. Yeah. How do you oh. become as dank as Ryan Chase, guys? Let's find out. Master. I don't think you could really become as dank as Ryan Chase. Let me tell you about Ryan. He probably spends 24 hours in a day, so he probably spends about 16 hours in the day watching memes on YouTube. Meme compilations. Um, he probably cried for about two weeks after Vine got shut off because he was on there for about 23 hours a day. And it was sad, guys, okay? Is, is a big part of his life, and they just they take it away. So since you guys don't have Vine anymore, you, technically you can't even, it's unmatched. Ryan Chase is unmatched and how dank he is. So good luck. If anybody thinks they're as dank as him, go ahead and let me know because I don't think there is. Yep. That's it. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching! Uh, like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Comment if you have any more questions. I'll make sure you look at that summer camp because seriously, it's like the best. It's the best time ever. And subscribe if you're new. And I just want to give a shout out to all my fans. You know who you are. Jason's <laughs> it's a family. bunch of them. <laughs> and we'll be back on schedule in two days from now when you guys are seeing this. Yeah, this is a bear I shot it. And who does not love the USA? Okay, see you guys. Go outside, enjoy the day.